It's Champions League time and Newcastle United fresh from finally winning a game first in three in the, champ in the Premier League. A slim 1-0 win against bottom club West Brom. Take on Swiss side Genk in the second round of the Champions League. You would think a fairly favourable draw but um, things haven't quite gone Newcastle's way thus far this season. Harry Kane returns to the starting lineup, so we'll certainly be happy to see him again. Uh, Desai, who was sent off against West Brom, will be rested. And Micah Richards, who played against West Brom, will come into the starting lineup. Uh, my, will be on the bench. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Jude Bellingham, Castona. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Castona is going to drop into midfield. And Steve McManaman is going to get a start. Ahead of Marco Varati. And that will be my side. Adama, Shearer, Kane, Bale, McManaman will be the front four. Castona will support Busquets in midfield. Or maybe I should put Bellingham in there and call on Castona if I need him. Got to rest my guys wherever I have, wherever I can. Seeing as... Um, I don't have as much depth as I thought I did. Genk playing a 4-5-1 and have done very well to get this far in the ch in the Champions League. Can they get past the English champions? Newcastle United. Nobody really to mention there in the starting lineup, but you know what? Those are the sides you got to worry about. And Diego Maradona certainly not taking them lightly. He's put on a very strong side there, including Steve McManaman. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Good boy, aren't I? Take a look at Gangster the Crystal Arena. Luminous Arena. Well, sounds late, doesn't it? And the English champions, Newcastle United who bowed out of the Europa League last season in the semi-final against RP Leipzig and the season before that bowed out of the Champions League in the semi-finals against eventual winners Borussia Dortmund but the year before that in Maradona's very first season we won the Europa League so hey it can be done but this year having won the Premier League and the FA Cup last year the Champions League is certainly the name of the game, Jude Bellingham getting a start here today ahead of Castona and Baratti alongside Sergio Busquets, Steve McManaman. Summer transfer. Joined with Paul Gascoigne who never quite settled at Newcastle. And I don't believe he was a lost cause, but the amount of money offered for him by AC Milan. It was just too good to refuse and off he went. Nicely won here by Simon Kier does well. And sends Adama Traore on his way and Traore tries to find Shearer early. Shearer with the dink pass in for the returning Harry Kane. What is going on there? There's some lights in the way and oh Adama Traore slips past his man again. The speedy winger Shearer is there! Gets it on target Alan Shearer. And finds McManaman. McManaman trying to where is McManaman going? Got through and found that he had no room in which to move. Let's get a bail now. Oh, look at that for a block. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, and McManaman there. Oh my goodness me, guys. I've got some bad news for you. I'm looking at the early... Si oh, and Gareth Bale. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the tackle from behind gets the ball right through Gareth Bale's feet somehow. And Newcastle United now. Man, have gotten the man in his spot of what is going on there? McManaman there was on hand. And then takes a swipe at Gareth Bale off the ball. Come on, man. Gareth Bale will fire this one in. Kier gets there and he misses the target. Can you believe it? Simon Kier. Whooped in by Gareth Bale. I have got a bad feeling about this. Um, not winning any tackles. And there he comes. There's Simon uh, Sergio Busquets. 
as well again Busquets Shira is there and Shira misses can you believe that oh god guys guys I gotta tell you I have got a pretty bad feeling about this one unmarked just outside the six yard box and he misses the target Ooh, 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 this is not looking good. Yes, Busquets now again sends Gareth Bale on his way, who takes about four touches just to get the ball under control. Gareth, oh my goodness me, blocked by Alan Shearer. <laughs> oh shit, this is gonna be one of those games, guys. And McManaman does well to find Harry Kane, who finds McManaman again, who tries to get the shot off. <laughs> Will not happen for him. Uh uh. This is going to be bad guys. I got a bad feeling about this. Jude Bellingham now. And Genk. Oh my goodness me for flipping hell man. Wins the ball and he just summarily just rolls out of play man. What else do you want to happen in this game? It's one of those games. Oh. McManaman. Oh my goodness me. What the hell? And there, a free kick, of course, to Genk. It's gotta be one of the. I won the ball as fair as you like, I gotta tell you. Poor decision there, and Genk now. Probably gonna hit him. Oh, my goodness. The wall gets in the way there. And Newcastle United. Oh, I, just, I have an ominous feeling about this one. Gotta tell you, not looking good at all. Get Bale gets up, wins it well. It's him and Alan Shearer against the gang defense there, and Shearer. Oh my word! Harry Kane tried to get the shot off, but once again the laser guided tackling of Gink. Gareth Bale, can he do something from here? McManaman gets it on target! And the goalkeeper pulls out a tremendous save there. McManaman to Busquets. Back to Bale now. And Bale, not pulling. And you know, just an observation if I was playing FIFA, uh, you can bet the player would have done like three or four different skills. And he would have gotten past the defender and you just see the difference here that Pez doesn't favor that style of play. You cannot go and suddenly and, and that's the one thing I gotta say I dislike about FIFA is where this this uh, zibbling spamming that they do. And and when they do it they kinda of sit there as if they've done something impressive. I, I don't see it. I don't think I don't find that impressive at all. You're not uh, outsmarting the AI. You're just exploiting a cheap arcadey game mechanic. In my eye, I told you I was playing with these guys not too long ago. Some FIFA, and the dude was like six spamming me no end. And as if it was something impressive. I don't see anything impressive about that at all. You know, um, doesn't show any skill to me, anyway. You know. Oh my goodness me! Look at that. I win the tackle with two guys against one, and he still somehow emerges with the ball. There's Harry Kane now. We'll get McManaman on his way. McManaman has got the pace. Get away from Toma McManaman now. Still McManaman. McManaman, get oh what kind of save is that? What the hell did the keeper do there? Oh my word. The animation didn't even allow for that save, but uh Busquets! Oh my goodness, desperation coming through there. Did you see that save? Keeper couldn't get down to it in time with his hands and literally like sort of went sliding across his goal line there to stop that one. What the hell? Ah, oh, 
ominous guys, it looks ominous, and yet Shira now, and Gink, oh snap, someone killed it well there, and now going across the pitch, to Bongonda, and Michael Richards will win that one back, and get a bail, he's got no one, in support, sure, how the hell man, and Newcastle United, Finding Gank to be a much tougher prospect than even they expected. And Michael Rich is now looking for some support. McManaman <laughs> trying to find Gareth Bale, but they will not allow that. Michael Rich is again now. Finds Gareth Bale, who tries to find Harry Kane. Going for Alan Shearer now, who is offside, of course. Why not? Any changes here? Oh, um. Okay, I'm going to bring. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to bring Castona on and Charlie Austin. Let's see how that goes. McManaman and Kane, so two Englishmen coming off. Charlie Austin, not yet quite an England international, but he will be. Um, is Bellingham now. Finds Adama Traore. Oh, his first touch. Takes him about three meters behind the play. And Castona to Austin. Back to Castona. Oh, my goodness me. How is it that they're playing all out attack and still have ten men? I can't see shit. Is Birmingham there? I mean Bellingham. Go! Oh, Castona! <laughs> no foul given there by the referee who has just barged off the ball at the edge of the area. And Newcastle United now is a that much oh, my goodness me, no foul given there either. What an interception that was. And no, nope, Genk keep coming. They keep coming. Nope, can't even pass it out of my box. And a change here for Genk. And Newcastle United are going to... This one ends. Goalless. Newcastle goalless away from home. A tough, tough game. My word. I cannot begin to tell you the frustrations involved in that game. But so it ends. And Newcastle United are going to... Look at that. Eight shots on goal. And they gave me deadly squat, guys deadly squat we're gonna have to do better in the second leg unfortunately elsewhere Milan 1-0 over Dortmund Chelsea with a thumping win over Paris Saint-Germain how about that Juventus defeating Moscow Bayern over Atletico Real Madrid defeating Napoli Ajax with a 1-0 win over Barcelona Liverpool with a big win away to Celtic so well, most of it going according to plan, you would say. Join me next time as Newcastle United, defending champions Newcastle United, take on current log leaders Manchester United at St. James's Park and can we get some revenge for that defeat earlier in the season. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.